Yu-Gi-Oh! series that has excited fans since its creation in 1996. However, the current state of the game has left it confusing for new players to attempt to enter, with over 60 different booster sets and countless other products as well. To this end, the next competitive player shall take on the challenge of attempting to get back into the game. He shall receive 30 British pounds to spend on cards. However, he can only spend it on sealed product, with no trading or purchase of single cards allowed. He must rely on his own hands, luck, and the heart of the cards to provide what he needs. Welcome to Breaking the Seal. Hello YouTube, and welcome to episode 24 of Breaking the Seal. I am the Crimson Brit, here to make your day a little more British. We are one week away, just one, from from the next gold set being released, so a cheaper and easier printing of Golden Boy. Oh, can't wait. So, this week, our purchases are... One back of, uh, one dual overload, and because I went uh, a little bit over the budget last episode, one pack of Toon Chaos. So that comes to about uh, 27 something. This was uh, 24.99, and this was a uh, 2.50. So I don't know. Do maths in your head. We'll start with the Toon Chaos. Hmm, start a dragon in common. I didn't actually know this was in the set. That's uh, that's a result. Chaos Zone, BLS Envoy of the Evening Twilight, Toon World, I actually kind of prefer the classic, uh, the classic Toon World art, the uh, more like cartoony one, a Sinet Cobb deck pick, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, and Toon Terror. I can probably have a use for this in my tune deck. I'll just put that somewhere else. Wait, I just... Huh. None of these have the, uh... None of these have that weird effect that happened last week where all the cards were misprinted. Don't know whether or not I'm just lucky in that regard or what. Whatever. Right, the dual overload. Let's get into it. So let's get into it. I'll rip it apart like a goddamn animal. Ugh. So what's the oversized card we get with it? The Dark Magicians. Hmm. Open up you open. There we go. Get our six packs. So let's go with this one. One that's got uh that's supposed to be like one of the evil heroes. Or new destiny heroes, or oh, whatever. First pack. Sky Striker Ace Kagari. If that's some that's a view, yep. Enma's Judgment. Reptilian Echidna. Magic Formula. Speedroid Hexa Saucer. So, nothing really useful in that pack. Oh. Somebody the camera picked it up. Somebody's letting off fireworks. So we have extra hero in. Okay, I knew it was an extra hero. Extra hero infernal divisor. Paleozoic Dynamiscus, that's now three we can use in the side deck, if we're going to use three. Angr Angracum Umbrella, Giga Plant, Destiny Hero Celestial. I mean, the, really, the main reason we're going for these is to try and get to hands on, uh, what's it called? Verte Anaconda, the Powder Plant Link Monster that uh, lets me search out a fusion card. I get that, I can now easily search out Red Eyes. Rose Bell of Revelations. 
Magical Musketeer Starfire. Chaos Goddess. Firebrand Hymnist. And Salaman Great Almirage. I remember, hearing that, I remember a lot of people saying this is like one of the better uh, one of the better Link 1 options you can go into. I think it's okay. I don't really tend to go into Links. And <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> and its infusion materials needs to be a normal summon monster with with under a thousand attack. Doesn't really help the deck because I don't really think the only mo normal summonable monster that we have in the deck is either the Ghost Girls or Shiranui Solitaire. If I haven't taken him out. So, yeah. Now, Mirage. Some decks can probably use it. I can't. But I will put the, uh, put the Dynamiscus over there. Three packs left. Sky Striker Ace Kageki. Magical Formula, he Hexasaurcer, are these the same pack? And, and the Dynamiscus. Umbrella, if this is... Was that... I think it was like the exact same, exact same pack as we had uh, to begin with, just... Devicer, Giga Plant, Destiny Hero Celestial, Magical Musketeer Starfire, and Chaos Goddess. We've opened, we've opened this, we've opened that exact pack already. Are we just getting, are we getting the same cards? Yeah. That's the exact same pack as when we pulled already. Get into our last pack. R Rose Bell of Relevations. Firebrand Hymnist. We've already had these packs. Another Al Mirage. Uh, Witchcrafter Madame Ver. And the last warrior from another planet. Can anyone actually use this thing? That's so weird. Oh, whatever. We have, we've got two Al Mirages now and. I guess another Dynamiscus. So, hmm. end result, just more padding for the side deck. Oh, almost forgot to mention the reason why. Uh, the reason why I didn't continue with uh, episode twenty, episode twenty-three, part two. I'll I'll let this little bit of footage show itself. Crack down. Damn it. Hey, we got the thing. Let's try this. He's probably got a negate for it, but we'll do it. get uh, the turn one playoff. Oh, I know, I can't stop. Just Outland. But he... Why do people not want to play against... Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, fine. Next door. Yeah, see, people just... For some reason, are just surrendering when they see the deck. They just... I'll explain it. No, we'll make we'll make a small edit to the side deck and then we'll play a couple of games. So, see you just then. Alrighty then, our first duel is going to be against Ornova. 
Uh, we got an alright hand, I guess. King of the Swamp. I could have I took him out. Ah, oh, whatever. So, let's one and pass this. Um, okay. Let's play Cursed Outland, I guess. The effect. Ash Bluff enjoys spring. Okay. Bit annoying, but oh well. Set two, normal summon Unizombie. Activates effect. Back to graveyard. Forbidden droplets. Okay. And um, World Legacy lands. We've got Solemn Judgment, at least. He's attacking that. No, we don't want to do anything. Draw uh, phase. What's doing? No, you can't. Oh, no. Target of Lord Lexi. Oh, no, I can't just target with card effects. Okay. Continuous card, isn't it? Like that just outland. Has he got something? How has he got something? Okay, now add the golden boy. Then this and a trap card. Hmm. Trap card. Like, what do I have access to? Could, could make Brian act. Bounce into his hand. Hmm. Could be a play. Monster special from the extra deck. But wait, how did he draw? How did he, hang on? How did he even bring this thing out? Seriously, how did he bring it out? I guess we'll activate. I oh, will activate her cloud off. Thanks, mode. Surprise fool, it's Brian X. Very special summoning a World Legacy token. Okay. Still don't know how you managed to summon the monster from his monster. Brian, I guess. I could Brian X effect. Got this. This. Okay, bounce that and that. Oh, thank you. Let's see, which one do you want to send? We'll send Curse Outland, it's done its job. Which is a zombie, yes, please. Bring out the boy, Curse Outland's effect. We want to be sending. Guardian. Go battle. Kill that. Attack him directly. Just end phase. End phase. Activate Guardian. Just set Scarlet Sanguine. Sanguine. We are going to be bringing about Doom King Baladrock.
like these waiting for so long. Okay, now. Ten phase, yes. Great for Quero's effect. Dude. Well, we'll put, it, we'll put another Gallant Sanguine down, I guess. Cursed Outland. And he surrenders, okay. Oh, GG. Let's get on to game two. Right, for game two, we are going to be playing against Drake. And. Huh. Black one's a bit weird. Can we go first, please? No? Yes? No? Damn it. We've got Valor, we've got Conquistadors, we've got two Yuna Zombies in hand. That's not op not optimal, but I guess we can work with what we have. This my opponent just does crazy top combos, turn one. And, uh, ends on full board. See what he's doing. That's one, okay. Is this the new Chalmers? Something from the graveyard. Target face a monster you control. Okay, so that thing can special summon itself during each of the, during each of my end phases by blowing up one of his things. That's a touch annoying, but I guess okay. Well, first off, let's make everything a zombie. Yep, new charmers. Thing, put in the spellcaster. One side controls just probably a battle card pack. Okay, that's fine. Almost a zombie. Okay, zombie. Okay, effect. Let's be able to increase the level by one. Yep, we'll increase the zombies. Ash Blossom. That's a little bit annoying, I will admit. That's two. I guess I'll end my turn there. Just a 158 beat six that when it destroys something we'll gain battle. We will we'll gain attack in it. It's kind of annoying, but so long as he doesn't have another negate, we should be able to uh, pull through. There's there's cards that becomes a 26 if my math is right. 2650. Yep. Ow. I'm taking one like one. Is he going to overlay them or something? Oh no, he's standing. Okay. That summon. Oh, summon Unizombie. Magnate is effect. Don't attack the grave. It's own level. Time, we are sending the Golden Boy. Magnate Golden Boy's effect. The door. Oh, he's making me wait. Okay, Golden Boy 
and Pan special on a zombie? Yes, please. Gold boy. Door. Do I face the card in the field? What was it? Um, blow up that one. Overlay this guy. Overlay this two and have And they scooped, okay. Why do people keep scooping the second I play Hulk of Firebreak? Oh, they probably think I'm going to like go into like a whole Hulk, Hulk loop. Okay, that, that kind of explains things. Okay. Right, next all. Alrighty then, game three is going to be against Yukod. Can I go first this time? No, I can't. So opening with Baladrock, Unizombie, Cursed Outland, and I've uh, got Moonlit Chill. Virtual Worlds. I have no idea what these things do. This will be a learning experience. Uh, level 6 to level 3. Yes. Not bad thing. I think if he use the field, he's going to take uh, 1 8 damage. From the field, from the field to the graveyard, banish instead. Right. Right. Left. True king of all calamities. Okay. effect. He's going to turn some stuff into... Hmm. What if the monsters on the field become light? So I can't... Can I not activate any monster effects there in that case? We'll play Cursed Outland, see what he does. How does this thing do? He's just destroying Cursed Outland immediately. Okay. I'd like to use the effect, please. Send him to Graveyard. Uh, Guardian to Graveyard. Do I get... I don't get... I don't get at hand? That's bullshit. Oh, the unit is on me. Currently, it's a light currently, isn't it? Because of uh, True King or Calamities. Annoying. In the end phase, Guardian. I probably should have sent Golden Boy. I c Just because he destroys it, I should still be able to search it, shouldn't I? I mean, that's that's how usually the game works. Just because your opponent just MST doesn't just doesn't negate. So why is that a thing? Is it just or is it just a matter of timing? You activate that, I'm going to activate Scarlet Sanguine in response. Summon it in a 
Can't banish two other monsters from your graveyard with the effect special summon your card. Respond to that, I'm gonna say East the door. Not just monsters, so my computer also can get very on back. See what he does. He's probably gonna link them. No. Oh, no, that thing do. Stop target this thing with card effects. Activate the card with an attribute that is not on their field. Right. The issue is true king of gold calamities. If he uses the effect, can just make things into. Changing it to oh, he's changing it to attack mode. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And the, fact that he can just, the fact that he can just shuffle them and then switch the effect, blow my shit up. That is annoying. That choo choo. Yeah, that's uh, that's a might annoying. Wow, I'm on 400 life points. Cards on the field. It's not on the field at the current time. Like that. Like Skylight Sanguine. Wait, what? Skylight Sanguine? Why can't I activate Golden Lord's effect? He's not on the field. What's that, what's that conquista for? All face of monsters on the field, all monsters in your opponent's position with that attribute. Oh, he, he, he picked light with that effect, didn't he? God damn, damn you. Oh, we'll activate. Let's see, if I go to attack it, he can use a uh, Chew Cheater. Oh, I can't, I can't even declare an attack because of that true King Val Calamities. Oh, that is annoying. Calamities doesn't have its effect anymore. Can I, can I can I activate my trap, please? Can I can I activate my trap? Yes. Oh, it's angry, I don't want to sell him. Bring 
Rock. Ballad Rock. I banished it! Damn you! Oh, don't tell me you can use that effect to turn it into an attack. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's not fun. Oh, you. Yeah, wow. They, these virtual world things are gonna be really annoying to deal with when they come out. Oh well, let's go on to the scores, I guess. And so, at the end of that episode, here are the stats for our current deck. Now, if you've got any suggestions that you have for the next episode, or potentially any bits of advice you want to give me, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or, you know, if you'd prefer to, just give a like. Or, hell, if you, if you like what I've done and want to get notified of when I put up the connect content, feel free to give that notification bell a ding. Uh, subscribe if you feel like. I mean, I, I can't make you subscribe. Do whatever you want. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I've been the Crimson Brit, and hopefully your day is now a little more British.